just to make sure the staff and the doctors can get in and make sure that they're acquainted with the building and they can do the best for you when you come here. So, thank you again for coming. <coughs> I'll pass you over to Dr. Russell Muirhead, who's the, chair, uh, the chairman of Shop Dog. Workforce, which is fit for purpose for the, the needs uh, going <coughs> forward. So, we welcome this opportunity. We are working with the local doctors and practices. Uh, and uh, we hope that you will see uh, the quality that you now receive out of ours in ours as well. Not to take away from the, uh, the excellent service that you were being delivered before, we're hoping to build on that. So, uh, Before I hand over to Councillor Dakin to officially open, I'd like to introduce some of the team which uh, we've recruited to, uh, to help run the practice. So the lead GP is Dr Mel Abbey. Uh, she's going to be here for the majority of the time with a joint role of both the clinical work but also very much the organisational development and training that we are uh, bringing to this. Supporting us, Dr William Nicoup, who's uh, come from Manchester. I'm glad to have him. And of course we've retained the services part-time of Dr Martin Sullivan. Uh, hopefully in the future we'll grow on that. Um, yes! <laughs> Um, and Dr Amy Evitz is also coming, so there's going to be four GPs for the vast majority of time. So this is not about locums, these people, these GPs have made a long-term commitment to, to the enterprise. I'd like to say thank you to Shrop Doc for stepping in at the <coughs> power and supplying the surgery to replace it from surgery during the next 18 months. We all know that Shrop Doc is a trusted name with a good track record for supplying medical staffing and can be relied upon to do a good job. It is understood this surgery is only temporary for 18 months, but it is hoped that with the help of Shop Doc and the CCG, a permanent solution will be, in fact, must be found to avoid any more uncertainty in the future. And we, as a community, must keep pressing for that to happen, as I'm sure we will. I have probably left people off my thank you list, and I'm sorry if I have, but finally I would like to say thank you to Peggy Mullet and the Witches Patients Group also the Northern Pacers Group for their support, and also the Mayor, Mike MacDonald, for his common influence during these last few weeks, and I'd like him thank you very much for that. Before I actually declare it open, I've got a request, really. Myself and the Chair of which is PCG have talked about the next 18 months, which will soon go, and the way forward after that. We don't want the same problems we've had over the last six months. No progress, no information, and no ideas. We would suggest a working group with the CCG officers <coughs> responsible for GP provision, the local doctors, shop doc, and representatives from the Witches Patient Participation Group <coughs> to meet on a regular basis to be informed on progress and have an input on future arrangements <coughs> so that everybody in the area can be reassured that this is an ongoing discussion and plan for the future of a GP provision in Witchurch. We understand there may be financial and commercial confidentiality, but we need to be confident that work is progressing. I was hoping somebody from the PCG would, CCG was here today to give us that commitment. But believe you me, I shall ask them for that commitment sometime in the near future when I get hold of them. But thank you very much and declare the surgery now open. Mm -hmm. 